And we can check our email while we're at it. Mr. Jensen. Um, <laughs> in respect to your latest... Oh, yeah, this is something I forgot to point out. Your latest reminder to have the mirror in your bathroom replaced. May I remind you once again that the item is on back order. The situation is out of our hands and no amount of pestering will make it arrive any sooner. While on the subject, we are still unclear as to how precisely this mirror became damaged. Perhaps you can enlighten us. Yeah, because he broke the mirror. I think he's like got his got issues with like the way he looks. Obviously, he's changed his appearance. I think he's come back and you know, low one night, it's all got on top of him, and he's smashed the mirror, looking at himself, and sort of the changed him, having difficulty coping with it. Um, pretty obvious, really. That's what's happened. Nice little touch that you could well miss if you don't bother reading these sort of things. The dog. Um, Adam is so sorry. When Megan died, nobody knew what to do with Kubrick, so I took him in, but I couldn't keep him, and nobody knew if you wake up, so I didn't, I didn't know what else to do. I'm really sorry it was a straight, sweet dog, Diane. See, that's sad. That is sad. But again, the dog that was in the picture. Um, hello, Adam. Just a quick note to welcome you to our new apartment on behalf of Starry Industries. Uh, oh, God. Uh, if you need... Stay still. Need anything or something that is not satisfactory, please do not hesitate to let me know and it will pass it to the building management. You will notice there is a hidey hole of sorts built into the wall. Uh, the code for this is 5375. If your key is lost or damage, I have a backup. Mr. Sarif also does, but try to reach me first. Who is this? It's, oh, Athene, right. Um, the lease is for a year and has been prepaid in full. You shouldn't receive any questions about rent, but if you do, please free, re feel free to refer them to me your happy years in your new home. That's right, so they gave us a house. There's a hidey hole in the wall. Adam, it's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. Yeah, we do have to go back there. As I said, this might be it. So now we have the code for this, we can just type it in. We could have hacked it as well, but what's the point? We have secret stash. Open the secret stash. Ah, there we go. There's a secret stash behind the massive TV. Fucking massive TV. With armor piercing system, very nice. What else have we got? Remote explosive device. Well, I'll take it. Uh, credit chip, pistol, pistol. Unlocking device, good. Pistol. Oh, come on. Okay, so armor piercing system. What does it do? 40 mm pistol. Oh, well, there we go then. Um, allowing them to penetrate most armor types of fire, reverting and causing massive damage. So, our pistol is becoming pretty damn awesome. So we've got a credit chip, more pistol ammo, and some other stuff. Let's see. Uh, yeah, neuro, neuro, neuroplizine, whatever that is. All that stuff, and uh, some blood packs, possibly, stuff like that. Paracetamol. Drugs, basically. Um, can we put that back now? So I don't want anybody wandering in my pad and seeing that, so let's close that. I don't know who would wander in, but if they did, they're not getting my, st my splash of drugs. That's mine. It's my splash of drugs. Do we get... Open. I have to hear this. Thank you. Thank you. Nope. I wonder what triggers that. Oh, well. Mr. Jensen, I fixed up your apartment real nice. That special request you asked for works like a charm. Hmm. I don't know what that was. Anyway, so we're off to uh, the gang territory again. Which I, I, I kind of had an idea. That's where we're going. Just checking I didn't need to reload that because there's only one clip in it, but I guess there's only one at a time. Here we go! We have already sort of done this, we've sort of been in this place before, so I should be okay. I don't know whether they've like woken up and respawned and such. Or if they're all like immediately hostile now. 
I guess we'll have to find out. That's where we have to go. Jensen, I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. What are you talking about, Richard? I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo, alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Oh, and it's Cholo. Huh. Meet the mysterious informant. We'll go and do that now. Yeah, I'm gonna follow this arrow. Don't normally have the arrows on and I have... Yeah, everything's reset. I have been known to rant for uh, quest markers. Or about them. Wait a minute. I thought there was a way through here. Oh, you just have to go around. Never mind. Um before, but sometimes they are useful. I do like having the choice of turning them off, though. And still being able to find them via the information you've got. That's quite nice. Doesn't always work in games, but um, when it does, it's it's nice to have, just have the, 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 the option with the quest markers. I'm not keen on having both of them flying around my screen, though. So... Yeah, basically I have to just go back. I could find it without the uh, little X, but it's okay. Yeah, nothing's reset because that's still lying there. Do I have two Praxis points to spend? Wasn't forget that. But we'll see. I haven't decided yet what I want to actually upgrade. I'm pretty happy with the way Jensen's developing so far. Oh yeah, there's a sprint button. I think she actually gives you information about it. yeah. Well shit! If it ain't the captain himself! Mr. Seraph done fixed you up good, ain't he? Give you a new set of glasses and everything. Damn! How you doing, Letitia? Didn't think I'd see you walking this boulevard anytime soon, that's for sure. Not after what happened six months ago. People said you's down for the camp. People tend to underestimate me. <laughs> you and me both, Captain. You and me both. Uh, you, uh, got any credits you can spare? Off a beer? I don't have any. What would I need information on? Because I think she can give you information about how to get into the police station and stuff, which obviously I've already done, so... How about you give me some information, and then we'll see. We'll see what oh, she can offer damn, us. damn, Captain. You ain't no cop no more. Why you gotta insist on using them rules? Because it's my money this time, not the department's. You want it, you better give me something that's worth it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So what you wanna know? Hmm. I'm not really all that bothered about any of them. I'm gonna just return and leave. I think I've got all the information I need right now, Tish. <laughs> Maybe next time. I'll be right here waiting for you, Captain. That was a bit in the sort of kicking the teeth for her, wasn't it? But yeah, I don't think I really need to know anything. I I know at least two sort of gun dealers in here. I sort of guessed the mood in the streets myself by wandering them. And the other one I don't need any help with stealth. You know, stealth I have I am the master. I am the grand master, grand daddy master of stealth, as we all know. Hmm, this looks suspicious. Let me give this a save. Bodyguards, huh? Ah it's Zeke. Interesting. This could go down uh pretty goddamn interesting this. You got that woman killed, so I'm not gonna be too happy with him. I see you got my message, Cabrón. Sanders. You're taking a risk meeting this close to Seraph headquarters. Same risk as you, considering you're the one who let me go. But I don't plan to stick around that long. Yeah? So what's this about? I did some house cleaning after the plant. And I turned up some intel on a gearhead motherfucker who used me and my brother. Chink left the pocket secretary behind. 
Don't say who he was working for, but it's got access codes, names, shit like that. Why are you giving it to me? Maybe I don't like feeling like I owe you. Or maybe I figured I'd send a snake to kill a snake. Take or leave it, pendejo. Either way, my debt is paid. Alright, I got another practice point, so I got three now. It's pretty nice. So I, I leveled up! Yay! Talk to him some more. Get lost, perro. You got shit to do. So we got this off him. 